Aloha. What should I do when I start seeing auras during this uh, spiritual awakening process? So our senses get sharpened during the process. So our brain develop a lot. So our senses are processed in the brain. Then we can start seeing the things other people can't see. We start hearing the things other people can't hear. For example, dogs can smell something which humans cannot smell. Cat, cat can see something which humans cannot see. Smell, taste, all these things are like that. Our brain develop a lot. Our senses get sharper. So our ability to experience these five senses get much stronger. So these these things, we just need to let go. We need to avoid that. We don't need to get caught up with that. Avoid means just ignore it. So there is something beyond. Means we get into this state where we are absolutely free from all these things. That is the liberation, that is the true awakening. Then you don't need to look for these answers, okay? It is what it is. You see something, you see something. You are not getting affected by that. You start seeing auras. It's okay, you don't need to interpret that much or anything, right? Just be with it. Let it go. So there are so many things. You become more and more aware. So when we are thinking, we can't pay attention to so many things, right? So awakening is the opposite direction of thinking. So we are not identifying with our thinking. So when we think a lot, we get identified by the thoughts. That's why we create so much mental pain and suffering. Same with the body. So we don't really pay attention, we don't really take care of this physical body and uh, something happens to our body, then we get identified with that. So some people get cancer or a tumor or uh, some, some kind of uh, challenges in the body, they get identified with that, they get stuck with that. So we are pure consciousness and everything is happening in the consciousness just like a movie. So when that happens, why do we need to get affected by that? So we are getting affected by that because our identification is so strong. Our identification as the body or as the mind is so strong. So once we identify ourselves with the body or the mind, our ego comes in picture. Then the ego start playing. Ego is a set of thoughts which we hold on to. That start playing and they start controlling our, us. So instead of getting controlled by the ego or the mind or the body, just witness it. Let all those things happen. So you don't need to seek further on that. So these are the siddhis or the powers we get caught up and we get uh, caught up with that and we forget about our journey or we forget about uh, awakening. We get identified with the ego then we are walking around. Oh, yeah. We are telling everybody I can see the aura or uh, we start telling the people, I am psychic, I can hear things, I can smell, taste, all these things we start saying. So then we just lose the awareness and we get identified with that, we get caught up with that. So then we can't enjoy this experience of awakening and we can't enjoy that freedom, that liberation. So instead of getting caught up with these little things, so why don't you enjoy that true liberation, true freedom, true, true experience of awakening and uh, that experience of pure consciousness.
So enjoy, have fun, and aloha.